Hey guys, welcome back to the shack and tonight we're going to be talking about a small entry level CNC and this machine is the new Sane Smart Genmitsu 4040 Pro Max. Now, there's a lot of names, but the basic machine is the same as the old 4040 Pro. Uh, they have made some upgrades to the machine and as many of you may or may not know, the 4040 Pro from Sane Smart was my very first CNC. That's where I kind of I kind of got the feel of it and decided whether or not it was a hobby that I wanted to pursue before I reached out and purchased my four foot by four foot uh, machine. So I think that's where this machine falls and this new machine is improved over the one that I began with. And so when Saint Smart asked me if I wanted to try it out and go over it with you guys, I couldn't resist. So stick around and we're gonna kind of go through it. I'm gonna point out some of the things to where I think that this is a good machine for people to start out with as far as both the price point and the functionality of it and uh, just kind of share my thoughts of the machine with you. So if that's something you're into, stick around and we'll be right back. All right, so starting off guys, this machine has a out of the box work area of around 400 by 400, thus the name 4040. Uh, Jinmitsu uh, machines so far from my experience, I've had really good luck with them. <laughs> I've had several other machines. Now with this machine, so far the only downside that I have found is I'm having a little bit of issues with the Z probe on it. And uh, Say Smart has reached out to me. They want me to try this and try that. So far I haven't been able to get the Z probe to operate properly. It's almost as if the polarity has been re reversed somewhere inside the controller uh, for the machine. So right now I'm just doing the Z probe manually, which to be honest with you is probably just as quick as doing it with a probe in most situations. But just know that currently I am still experiencing some problems with the Z probe operation. Uh, but with this machine, having this little knob right here, uh, being able to probe it with the Z uh, using a probe or doing it by hand, it's not that big of a deal. So I've been, been working through that. Now, a machine like this, like I said, you're gonna be limited to the size of the projects. You're gonna be limited to the, the bit sizes that you're gonna wanna run. I will say with this machine, the new upgraded Z axis so far, I uh, haven't had any problems with any kind of uh, twisting or any kind of deflection on the, on the part of the, the Z axis like I did with the original 4040. The original 4040, it came with a small little DC spindle and then you took that off and you could put the DeWalt router on there or the Makita. I went with the DeWalt and the DeWalt router on the old 4040, although it was effective, I did have to run my speeds really, really slow to avoid uh, getting a little deflection in the cut uh, because of the, the flex that the old Z axis uh, allowed. This new one, not so much. Uh, paired with this new Jinmitsu compact router that they have, it is definitely a winning combination. This little router right here, unlike the DeWalt, this one has a lot lower RPM setting capability. So you can go for like 7,000 RPMs up to 30,000 with this, with this little trim router. And that's really handy. The lower RPMs are good for, say, doing plastics, well, such as like plexiglass, Lexan, those type of things. You're going to want to go slow enough that you're not going to be melting the plastic. That way you can actually get an engrave. And I've done a few projects with it. So, so far, the spindle does accommodate for the different materials that I like to use and haven't had any problems with it. And it also has the ER11 collet, which is pretty handy. Uh, this particular machine came with the eighth inch collet as well as a four millimeter uh, collet sleeve to uh, allow for a little more versatility of bits. But you can also put a quarter inch collet in there and use quarter inch bits with it as well. So far, I've been sticking with the eighth inch bits just to, to try to test it out because I kind of feel like that's where this machine was intended to operate for the most part, uh, but it will, use also a uh, quarter inch bits as well as the eighth inch and the four millimeter. So here's a couple of little projects that I've knocked out with the machine. Other than a little minor oversight on my part with the file design, uh, this turned out really well. I did this using a uh, eighth inch flat end mill, uh, mini genie bit on this part uh, and did the, the, the profile, the cut, the pocket. And then for the engrave, I used the little 30 millimeter 
V bits that come with the uh, 4040 Pro Max and done a really good job. As you can see, I did design this cut in V-Carve as with most things that I do. Uh, I like to use V-Carve to do the design work and then I send it over to the machine software, which in this case is gonna be Candle just to execute it and set everything up to run. Uh, this is another little, a little catch all tray that I made for the CNC. This is made from uh, Magnolia, just a little scrap piece of wood here in the shop. And that's where these little small CNCs come in handy guys is you can take things that you have laying around, just small pieces of material, and you can turn them into actual projects that serve a purpose. Kind of like this one, uh, made just kind of like a little, little, little catch center for the different things needed to work the uh, CNC. Got another little pack of bits here that fits in this little tray. So just cool little organizer, organizable things like that uh, up to the 400 by 400 millimeter range you're good to go so you can do such things as signs these little catch trays bowls uh, engraving uh, but in its factory configuration this is the way it's going to be set up also i have taken a piece of quarter inch mdf and used a laser to cut me just kind of a, a cover for the spool board to add a little more rigidity to it and also allow me to be able to replace this in the event that i, I cut into it and using the quarter inch material that doesn't subtract a lot of uh, travel from my z-axis so it's it's kind of like just basically offers me that that added little bit of uh, protection for this bottom uh, spoil board without the sacrifice of a lot of z-axis uh, but all in all the with the little trim router in here the z-axis has been doing a really good job it's proven to be a lot stronger than what i was used to with the old 4040 I will tell you that this machine also has a connection point for the uh, A-axis as well as, like I said earlier, the probe, the laser, and all the other connections on the back of the gantry here. Uh, the assembly, relatively easy considering uh, you got the main three parts, which are going to be the X and Y uh, axis, and then, of course, the Z. But everything goes together fairly well. This machine, plenty, plenty sturdy enough and they sent lots of screws to uh, hold everything together. Uh, you'll also notice that both axes, instead of using belts, uh, this machine does use lead screws. So you've got screws all going from the front to the back, right to left, and even in the Z axis here. So at the end of the lead screws, you also have your, where your steppers are. You do have these little knobs, uh, and those are handy on the X axis because you can actually use this knob if you need to to move the uh, machine left and right, or you can use this one to move it up and down. That's really handy when you're trying to get your, your, your workpiece lined up and set your zero. Now I will tell you, if you're trying to move the Y axis forward and back, it's a little more complicated because you have two separate steppers, one on each side, and that can present a bit of a problem. But when you're lining everything up, doing using these two to adjust it does make it a little easier sometimes than trying to bump those uh, buttons and get those little small increments of movement out of the machine. So all in all, guys, uh, functionality, it does what it's supposed to. I haven't had any problems other than the little thing with the Z-Probe. The only consideration, if you're going to get this machine, one thing that you do need to consider is a CNC is really, really nice when you have proper dust collection. Now, uh, Jinmitsu did not send me uh, any kind of dust collection with the machine when I got it. Uh, luckily for myself, I did have uh, the one that comes standard with the Shapeco. I happened to have it handy. And so what I have done is taken my Shapeco, uh little dust shoe that comes with it and found that it works really, really nice on the uh, 4040 Pro Max also. So all you've really got to do is just lock that on there, snap the cover on it and you're good to go. So pretty much any dust shoe that you may have or you can find that'll work with a uh, 65 millimeter uh, trim router, you should be good to go with that. Uh, this is, like I said, this is the one that comes with the Shapoko uh, 5, but it, works pretty well with this router as well. Now also with the machine, they did include, of course, the tools. Uh, we went over the extra collet that was included and they also sent an extra set of brushes for the router. Uh, so I'm assuming that the changing the brushes out, it, it appears to be very similar to that on the Makita, 
uh, router as well. So that should be something that would be user serviceable. And if you if you uh, you know go through a set of brushes, which I went through several sets on my Dewalt before, and that's something to kind of expect. But it is good to know that that they have built their little trim router to where you can service it and put new brushes in there and get yourself back going in the event that you need to. Uh, but all in all, guys, been using it for a couple of weeks, and so far, so good. So let's back up and uh, wrap this up for a minute. All right, guys, so like I said, I am no CNC master by, uh, by any means. Uh, but I have had a lot of fun. I've done a lot of projects, and I have found that CNC's are very useful, especially in a shop where you have you know access to lasers, 3D printers. CNC is just one more level of being able to create things that a lot of us would struggle to do without computer-controlled machines. So it's it's really cool. It's fun. I enjoy designing uh, the design, seeing it on the computer screen, and then actually being able to make it uh, come true using the machines. And it's really cool. Uh, this machine, I will say, the original 4040, although I, I, I owe a lot of what I've learned to that machine because having a machine that is not as sturdy makes you have to re really uh, pay attention to speeds and feeds and the type of bits you use and how you design your files to try to maximize being able to use the machine and accomplish a decent design in a, you know, reasonable amount of time but i will say with the improvements to the 4040 pro max that they've made i'm getting a lot faster times as far as the uh, engraving and cutting uh, and just creating pockets and stuff with the machine i'm getting a lot faster time with this setup than i did with the dewalt on the older machine because like i said if i went too fast uh, the router would push into the material it would cause a little bit of flex a little bit of bend in that z-axis and it just caused the, the engraves to look bad uh, as well as, as caused the, the, the cutting paths not to be where they needed to be. So far with this machine, I haven't had that problem. I have been trying to stick with eighth inch bits because I think eighth inch bits with the size of the engraves and the things that you're going to be doing with this machine, I think that's really, really uh, kind of the standard for it. I could see that if you're doing a large pocket or like a bowl or something like that, you would want to use a larger bit, maybe a quarter inch shank bit. And I'm gonna hopefully get around to doing a project with some quarter inch shank bits. But right now, uh, I just, like I said, I, I feel like the eighth inch bit range is kind of where uh, this thing kind of lands uh, as far as most shops. Uh, that way you can keep your, your assortment of bits kind of small and contained. Uh, may take a little bit longer because you're only removing an eighth of an inch material rather than a quarter of an inch. Uh, but you could on those occasions when you needed to, you know, clear something out and do a, a lot more digging out of material, you could step it up to the quarter inch bits relatively easy. Uh, and just by purchasing another quarter inch collet and dropping that thing in there. But hopefully we'll get around to doing some more projects. I'll try to use some more quarter inch bits uh, as well, other than just the four millimeter and the, the eighth inch stuff that I've been using. But so far, guys, the machine's performing really well. Uh, I'm pleased with the upgrades. I think for $800, which is what they're selling this machine for right now, I think it's a good starter CNC for people that think they want to get into it but aren't sure because the machine's rigid enough that you get that feel of an actual uh, larger CNC with a somewhat reduced work area, but you can do a lot of the same things just on a smaller scale. Uh, whereas with the older 4040, I kind of felt like even though I had a lot of the same capabilities, looking back at it now, the machine was not as serious of a tool as what uh, this one is as far as, you know, you, you, you have a lot more of the, the, the flexing and stuff like that with the other machine as opposed to this one. This one lets you take it to the next level and get a little more serious about it. So if, if I had it to do over again and I was starting out with this machine, I feel like life would be a lot less frustrating than what it was using the original 4040 uh, back in the day. So Science Mart just asked me to reach out to you guys and share my thoughts on the machine with you. And that's where we're at so far. So uh, stay tuned and I'll try to get some more video out with the machine later on. And until next time, be safe and have a good day.